Hello again, welcome back to another daily buying of Isaac Repentance. It is, uh, I think the 24th. 25th, okay. January 25th, 2023. Why do I sound a little wired? I'm drinking the coffee I from yesterday. I, uh... I had some leftover coffee that I bought uh, yesterday, and it was sitting out. Flavor's not bad. It's not terrible. Um, still good, surprisingly. Yeah, Starbucks. It was my second cup of coffee I was getting yesterday, so I already drank like the first batch that morning, yesterday, and then I. Went back and I got a second vein of it. So I was like, you know, instead of letting it go to waste, I'm gonna drink it and then go back caffeine free for about a week. <laughs> oh my lord, Lana. So. Also, I've been getting this uh, video feed from this one channel that I, I kind of watch off and on. But I'm a little reluctant anymore because, like, medical stuff. Like, I don't know. It seems like medical stuff is kind of making me a little leery with detrimental effects. Like, certain things, right? Um, not so much with the radiation thing I watched yesterday talking about someone who got exposed with an isotope. And people had no answers of what caused him to, to die. But there's speculations of what caused it. I'm trying to blame that it was his fault. But there's no clear cut answers, so it's just kind of up in the air. Back in the 80s. Kind of deal. But this the specific channel, I forget what it's called, but he does like. I mean, they have a little bit of a reenactment. He talks about the whole, you know, diagnosis of things, you know, very detailed with it. And I seen one that was like ibuprofen. Someone was taking a bunch of I ibuprofen, which of course that's gonna cause of kinds of issues. But I didn't go and watch it yet. I'm a little reluctant because it's like, oh yeah, this little basic thing that somebody did that seems like it's kind of harmless. It really isn't. Like the gas station nachos thing. Which I know is ex it's extremely rare, the contracted type of bacterial infection like that. Extremely rare under the right circumstances. Um, I think the person got botulism from that, from the cheese from the <laughs> gas station. And uh, like it did something to where it was kind of paralyzed or something like that temporarily it was a temporary thing fortunately but shit now of course most of us don't have to really worry about that because that's extremely rare but for me it's like i i uh i don't know i've been feeling a little bit more and more reluctant watching those videos it's intriguing i mean they talk about like TikTok challenges of a particular person they did it, like the Benadryl challenge, and it's like, this is what happened to their body. This is what happened to their brain. This is what happened to whatever kind of specific organ or a series of organs. The whole tag log, it, like, it's like this. This is what it, you know, this person did, this X person did X thing. This is what happened to their X thing, or X, Y, Z. How about, yeah, more like, let me rephrase that. This X person uh, did Y thing. This is what happened to their Z organ or whatever. We're almost dead here. That's not good. Soul heart. Wow, bomb. Bomb and soul heart. All right. Gives us a little bit of survivability. Yeah, that could have been a secret room there. Now I think about it. Probably was. 
Five cents for a bomb that gives me a chest instead of a soul heart. <laughs> That's Isaac, baby. But no, like medical videos, like... I'm not really, really grossed out with the medical stuff too much or anything. It's just... It's a little bothersome, depending on what it is. I mean, I don't obviously, like, watch something very graphic, like gore or something. That's just screwed up. There are people out there who watch that stuff, and I, I just... No. <laughs> That's my limit. Like, super gory, whatever. Or whatever. No, that, that bothers me more than anything. And I think it's human nature that it would bother me. I can't see it of any kind of entertainment factor. Be like, oh, look at that. He's tearing off his skin. Oh, look at that. He just tore off his muscles off his bones. Look at him cutting his tendons. No. I mean, sometimes even with movies certain movies they got something very medically like or, well, it's something medically like inducing where it's like super graphic you know like like take case in point spiral like yeah that 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 did make me cringe I'll admit and not like cringe as in this is embarrassing kind of cringe cringe in the sense of like this does not look nice for me. I, I don't like looking at the score. God, it was fucked up. And they pushed their limits with it, and I, I give them that. I mean, I've watched all the Saw movies, and that was like, probably the most graphic I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen parts where it's like, you know, oh yeah, here's uh... Pussy! And we probably don't want that because circumstances. But with this, this will at least give us a half part every charge. Do we even dare? I'm gonna dare. Uh. And that's why you don't dare yourself. Okay. Well, well, it was a gamble. More like a gamble than a dare. Oh, I guess it's kind of a dare. Ooh. CD here is J8MAQA9C. We got a freaking wafer as a starting item. Well, there I go with risking that run. I could have just won. Maybe. Unless I screwed up at some point. But it's fine. At least we're getting back into the streak. Getting back in the groove. And I and I heard like movies like. Well, there's one movie, right? It was either a movie or a television show, Star Trek, where there was supposedly a scene, and I read about it, where it's like somebody was having a needle being put in their eye and everything else. And I'm like, yeah, probably not. Shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I can, I can handle gore to an extent, but something like that where it's like, oh yeah, we gotta make this just freaking nuts. Like, when I was a kid, I was scared to death with, uh, watching Ghost Ship. My mother rented the movie Ghost Ship. And she was gone from war- uh, she was gone for work and stuff like that, so I was kind of alone, pretty much, to my accord, watching Ghost Ship by myself. The beginning scene- this is kind of spoilers for Ghost Ship, if you're gonna watch it or not. Um, the beginning scene, they had this kind of mast or whatever it's called, this part of the ship, and it was coming down or whatever, and it had like a wire or something, and the wires sliced everybody in half, and they were crawling around and shit. I'm like, okay, that was just too much. Man, blue candle, red candle, that's amazing. Both in the cell at the same time. Yoink. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, you know, I'm going to take blue candle. Blue candle is actually a little better than red candle. They're both good. Too bad there's no, like, candle transformation where if you get two of them, they'll be, like, some kind of a green candle. 
It takes like the effects of both of them and then they just kind of split them into one thing. Now that would be cool. Some magical green candle thing. Or like a candle transformation. You get like, you know, all those candles and then it's like, you get like either bird's eye or ghost pepper is the third item. And then you get the candle transformation, which I don't know what you do with it. I guess fires would be, where not hurt you. You're immune to fires and just little things like that. I know there's like a lot of transformations in the game, but that'd be kind of cool. I think that'd be kind of nifty. And what other gory moves I've seen? I mean, my mom, she used to say that uh, Sign of the Lambs, this was, this was back then at the time when it was new. Sign of the Lambs for her was probably like one of the scariest films she's ever seen or whatever. One of them. Of course, the scariest she's ever seen was how, The Last House on the Left, the original. Which I watched and it, it was screwed up. Of course, she watched it in theaters. So she's seen the original cut of it because you can't see the original cut of it completely because bits and pieces didn't survive because they were getting destroyed because of how graphic it was, even for the 70s. Mmm. Mm. Got a piece of <laughs> butter. It was kind of... I mean, it melted down, but then because the coffee cooled, it, it collagal... Uh, collagal... Yeah, it's co collaborated to such a degree. It's not, uh, it's no longer liquid. It's clumped together. It clotted, basically. Um, no, anyways, uh, you know what? Let's grab this. This is actually going to be better for us. Even though we could probably get a bunch of hearts and then we can get other stuff. Let's see. Well, I don't think we're going to reach it. Oh, hello. Oh, we will be able to reach it. Three bombs, five cents. Probably not worth it, but... Whatever. Now, I watched Silent Hill in theaters, and that wasn't too bad. Yeah, like... They got some graphic bits, like somebody being strung around with like razor wire and oh my lord look at this i mean i thought it was a decent film someone i was watching it with didn't think so much but um second one absolutely sucked did not like the second silent hill Never played the games, but I think it's just kind of loose, loosely based off of the game series. Evidently, from what I heard, they're making a third movie. It's in the works. Hopefully that goes well. <laughs> Second one, I just could not stand. I tried, I tried to like understand, but I couldn't. Other violent movies have I seen? I mean, I've seen Mummy, Mummy Returns in theaters when I was a kid. That, that didn't bother me. Now, watching Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp and all them. Uh, that did at the time when I was a kid, but not so much now because I've grown up and I've been desensitized to violence some more. That helped. <laughs> or maybe not helped. Maybe it made things incredibly worse than, than I realized. Um, I do have a fascination with some medical things somewhat. I thought about watching one about uh, another radiation poisoning thing. The Chernobyl stuff. Like, you don't see too many images of it 
on YouTube. So it doesn't bother me. Even descriptions of it doesn't bother me too much. It, it's the sites that bother me. I'm a visual learner, so... <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, uh... I, I can, uh... Oh, look at that. I can, uh... Well, that's real nice. This might get me in more trouble than I need to, so I think we're gonna just... Come back down here, buy a soul heart, whatever. Um... Like, the discussion of it doesn't bother me. I mean, I might cringe a little bit of it. It's one thing where I read it. It's like, okay. Whatever. Haha. -ha. Um, except not haha. -ha, but. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Uh. It's one thing reading it. It's like, okay. It's another where you watching it. Where they put a lot of emphasis on details. I get it, shock value, whatever. Medical stuff, I mean, it's... I mean, it's, I mean, of course you expect, not a surprise either, you know, they're trying to up the ante of these film companies to make it scarier and scarier, obviously. It's like we're becoming more and more desensitized with like fantasy violence. So they're adding more and more to it. Take it make it more and more sinister, you know, because it's it's like a drug, right? It's like Um It's like Can we, Did we dare? I'm gonna dare. Come on now. There's fanny packs. Oh, look at that. Kicking in. Oh my lord, this run. Okay. We probably don't know. We're probably not going to need blue candle for too long. Still going to be helpful nonetheless tears yeah baby uh a little delirium huh i'm gonna say no down we go what was i saying Uh, violence and stuff. Oh yeah. So, Soul of Bethany. I have a theory that like you know more and more fanny, fantasy violence, realistic violence, you, whatever you call it, is becoming more and more of a sinister thing. Like it, as in like it's becoming more graphic as time's going on. Because we are so desensitized with violence. It's like, oh, yawn. It ripped his head off. Whatever. In the 70s, that would scare the shit out of people. No matter how cheesy it looked. Like, at that kind of time, that violence was like, oh, yeah. That's just... That's the scariest thing, you know what I mean? With, uh... Like, Halloween. You know, that was a scary thing, despite, like, being... You know, it, it looked, you know, comical today, but back then it wasn't so much. It was actually much more sinister back then. And so... Nowadays, it's like, oh yeah, this is a scary movie because it did this thing. And they're just kind of one, wanting up one another, too. So it's like... We're so desensitized, and we keep desensitizing ourselves to violence things that we want more which makes sense i mean i mean it used to be at a time where women were wearing like dresses and stuff like that and it wasn't revealing much of anything 
and then it's all of a sudden it's like you know people are tolerating things more and accepting things more and it's like now they can wear bikinis and everything whatever else I'm, I'm not saying like it's a bad thing or anything it's just how much society shifts is what i was trying to compare it as really it's it's a societal shift with things kind of adjusting to some different kind of norm. There's always changing in norms, right? Culture, political stuff, economic, you know, economically tied too. In many cases. Fads coming in and out. I mean, everything's just tied together. It's it's truly truly strange times truly strange how the human of uh humanity works as someone that's an alien <laughs> i'm kidding uh uh but and i think violence just violent like movies whatever talks of things that's just kind of part of that system of thing system set up there where people are just kind of used to violence it's like boring i want something that's going to be more you know evil looking guarantee if people were watching jigsaw in the 70s that'd scare the shit out of them they'd be asking to ban that film left and right the how violent it was But it's always about this, like, kind of pushing things, right? To their limit. And it saw was, uh, Spiral was one of those films I was reading about that said they try to push it to their limits because of the, uh, the rating. Movie association rating stuff. Um. And we keep finding these guys. Oh no, I've saved you! Now pay out for saving you. All right. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Troll bombs. Okay. Whatever. We're doing well. Yeah, but like... Jigsaw was one of those films that was pushing things to a limit. I mean, I've seen other films too that kind of did somewhat of a push. Like Human Centipede 2. I mean, you could argue Centipede 1 was pushing its limits. I didn't, it didn't bother me too much. Probably because I'm so desensitized with things. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, just getting sewn together and eating somebody's fecal matter and be like a giant worm. That's not a big freaking deal. Boring, I seen worse things than that. I seen some scarier stuff than that. I mean, I even seen that there was a kind of a, it's, it's kind of like a reboot, but it's like more like a ripoff than a reboot of Chucky, but it was like a, uh, a girl doll or something like that. It's like, when I watched the trailer of it, I was like, you know, that definitely looks like someone was trying to rip off Chucky, but make it as like kind of a girl version or something. I don't even know what they got for reviews on it. Oh no, I saved your life. Give me something. Nothing? Alright, whatever. A bomberino pepperino! Come back to seek a revenge on me, huh? Duly noted. I'll tell you one film that kind of screwed me up a little bit. Just a little bit, but then, like, uh, after I watched it, like, it wasn't like a permanent screw up or whatever. It was a pretty depressing film. And I don't know how I came across to it years ago. And it was called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Like, there's no violence to it or anything. It was just kind of like this Hallmark ish kind of vibe to it. But it was extremely depressing because 
You know, he was going through different people that was in his personal life that went to heaven or something like that. It's super depressing. And I think the guy died, I think, or he died temporarily and then he came back. Something like that. Something in those lines. And uh, I don't think it's based on a true story by any means, but definitely take that. I don't think it was. I mean, I've read stuff about near-death experiences and people experiencing things. Um, so I'm not dismissing that. It's just... Uh, what the hell? Wait a minute. What's... Wait a minute. Am I sweating? I'm sweating! Under my armpits. What the hell? I just noticed something wet. I was like, what the... And the first thing that came to my mind is like, is that blood? <laughs> no, it's not blood. I'm sweating. What the hell? It's probably because I'm standing up and I'm exerting more energy. That threw me off for a second. I don't normally sweat like that. Is it, is it really that warm in here? I don't think it is. My body's like, oh, wow, it is, kid. You just don't know it. It's amazing how the body knows what's going on. But sometimes you don't know what's going on with it. Because you're either tuning it out or you're so sensitized with your body that you can't feel what's going on. Or notice what's actually happening. Maybe I'm having the caffeine sweats drinking this coffee. I came across to a film, speaking of which, on my recommended feed for like, watch it free on YouTube with ads, which... <laughs> I have YouTube revanced. I actually found out that there was a separate group of people who are making their own YouTube vanced, but it's because it got shut down by Google with a cease and desist. I, uh, I found this and I'm like, oh, this is sweet. Because I was starting to get a bunch of just ads that were showing up. Um, I'll take this. Showing up uh, with the original vanced. Still works, it's just keep getting stupid ads like a lot of them it's like <laughs> dating ads or whatever how do you work a golden version of this I don't think you work do you and it's like a lot of them is like Ukraine like as in like um you could date Ukrainian in the in wherever, or whatever. Like a blonde Ukrainian woman or whatever. And it's like on the photo. It's like meet uh, a date Ukrainian women or whatever. I'm like, is this like just a trap from Russia or something, Russia? <laughs> or is this just like someone just soliciting uh, false? pretenses that you're going to date somebody actually collects a bunch of data from you taking advantage of the relevant times with with things i don't know oh i had a teacher that was ukrainian when i was in like middle school high school kind of maybe grade school a little bit she was like a substitute teacher um I don't really know too many Ukrainians. I knew a Russian, too. Um, but I mean, they're not—they're not all that uh, common around here. Seeing them, talking to them, and stuff like that. Um, so I mean. Probably New York or something, you see a lot more because it's more concentration of like, you know, it, it's a uh, city to go to, you know, try to make a, a living or whatever. 
I don't know. I don't know what I was getting at with that. But <laughs> anyways, violent movies and stuff. Or whatever, violent whatevers. Going back with that medical thing with that person in the YouTube channel, like it doesn't really show you like really graphic things. It, it, I guess it would go into details how really graphic it was for this person. So I guess that I guess could bother me. I, I guess that's the thing that kind of bothers me the most. So where's the sounds? Perthro. Perthro. Wow. I took that because it's piercing tears. It's slow. Yeah, I know. It's slow. Chariot card. Ooh. And the spikes are neutered now. Look at that. They won't attack me. Like, I don't like seek out a movie that, you know, has a bunch of violence. I mean, I've seen Parasite, and it had, of course, violence in it. It's some screwed up ways, but I don't really like seek out. That's right, we've been here. Violent movies for that purpose would be like filling my bloodthirsty need <laughs> or something weird. <coughs> I look for films that are good. I don't like reboots. I don't I don't know if any reboot well, I guess aside from the mummy and the mummy returns, those were technically reboots of the nineteen somethings back then. Early nineteen somethings. So I guess you can consider that a reboot and Sleepy Hollow and stuff. But for the most part, for modern day reboots. Oh, look, another Annie. <laughs> oh boy. Like, how many are there for those things? Annie films. Tons. Ton of different Annie films. Like, I don't know if, like, any other film that probably would have been remade the most. I mean, I guess there was like the Nutcracker stuff. Keep getting remade. The World Wide Web. Do we even want that World Wide Web? We could find like our key with that, I suppose. I'm gonna save this for after the boss fight. This uh, blank ruin. Could find the R key with it. There's always that possibility, right? Okay. I don't think I found the shop yet, so let's go back and look for it. Oh, I just... Forgot to use my damn blank ruin. Here I go. Oh, there I go. I've been hoisted up into the sky. Bye, bye, bye. All right. No more of that, mummy. Spitter. Glad I came back in here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I watched like Halloween Ends, which I guess that's like the most recent film I watched that was kind of violent. 
I say kinda, cause like, <laughs> it was, I mean, I don't think they're gonna get rid of what's his name entirely. It, it may look like it's though they finished things up, but something tells me they're not gonna let it go so easily. Gulp. Damn right we gulp. It's actually a huge gulp for us. Uh, yeah, so... Phelps. They're cool, I guess. All right, speed up and health. That's nice. Oh no. Spikes in the spike rooms. Oh, here we go. Getting some more goodies. What other ones they had for that medical video? Like they had well, the gas station one, gas station nachos. So someone decided to get gas station nachos. Oh, another gold. Gas station nachos. Because they don't like, you know, wasting food, which I understand. My mother and grandmother would pound on me for that sometimes. Don't waste your food. I'm ex ah! Speed threw me off. Dick it. Amnesia. Amnesia. I'm Shit. excited. I'm excited. I am not. Okay. Whatever. You know what? Let's put money in the machine. We got so much money here. So much dough. So much bread. Holy crap. Look at that. Holy shit. We they deposited like, what, 80 cents or something? That's truly a beautiful moment of time. We increase our angel deal chances, of course, and some luck. As for like video games or something, like violence, that one doesn't bother me too much because it's. I mean, it it doesn't look realistic, I guess. When you have, like, computer-generated stuff that is, like, you know, part of making it look realistic for movies, that's a different story. They, depending on how they do it, that could be just some sinister stuff. Oh, I don't know if I want that. All right. We also have Chaos, too, I just realized. I forgot I got Chaos. Bought it. Also, we got hyper speed. Reminds me of playing hyper speed with Guitar Hero mode. In Guitar Hero, it's like a mode on there. Did I grab the wrong thing? Yeah, I kind of did accidentally. <laughs> the gold, the bone heart. Oh no, I guess not. I keep the bone heart. I thought it would push it out of my inventory. I don't know if Genesis would get rid of my trinket here. I think I still keep the negative regardless. Other, see, other stuff that the medical YouTuber talks about. Let's see. Other case studies or whatever. People ending up in the emergency room for different things. Well, they had like challenges, you know, the Benadryl challenge. They had someone drinking a bunch of beer. It's been a while since I looked at this stuff. Infested. Um, and what else? Like there's others I know. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, let's see. Does this work? I'll be damned. Well, I guess it makes sense, right? That would work. Sure, I guess. Sure, I guess we'll we'll just gulp that. Not much of a trinket, but it's a free trinket. The gulp. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I got uh the wafer, that's why. I'm taking half damage. <laughs> and we got two of these Ibarical Core dudes. Is it just for the room or is it just permanent? I would think maybe it's just for the room. Oh, I got like two of them? Ha. Huh. About them apples. I think I'm thinking here, popping Genesis at the chest. Oh, no, I no, we're going to the dark room. We're not going to the chest, that's right. Though we could go on the Isaac floor, pop it, and then we go up to the the chest floor. I think that works that way, doesn't it? If you went to the wrong path, you can take that other way. I think. Just get rid of these guys. They're just annoying. Man, why can I not think of like any other videos he did? He did so many medical ones. Oh, the woman with the pickle juice. That one, yeah. That was screwed up. I think it... Oh my lord, look at that. Brimstone, holy shit. Brimstone continuum? Yeah. Too bad we'll give it up pretty soon. Alright, that was just... Bad on my part there. And then there was another one too. Let's see the Benadryl stuff. Let's see. I had one on the tip of my tongue here. Uh, the pickle juice. Oh yeah. So there was also the. Oh, the uh, soy sauce cleanse. The calling cleanse. Now, that one was fucked up. See, what happened was, this lady was, uh... She, she had some mental problems. And she was going on the internet trying to figure out how to lose this weight because of some things that was going on, that she thought was going on. And... Uh, she... Read on this website about this uh, cleanse called a soy sauce cleanse where if you drink a bunch of soy sauce or whatever that it would uh, make you lose a bunch of weight and a bunch of other unnecessary like crap in your body. Oh, this is just funny. And so she drank a bunch of soy sauce of course, with soy sauce, it has a bunch of sodium, like a tremendous amount of sodium. I don't really eat soy sauce because, you know, it's soy. <laughs> oh, why did I keep hitting myself? I wonder. Okay, just curious. And so what happened was because she retained just a tremendous amount of sodium that she was having a bunch of medical issues of course and so she ended up brain dead pretty much paralyzed from the 
neck down or something, can't move her head, she's basically legally dead. I mean, she's kind of there, but like she can't respond to the outside world or nothing. That's fucked up. Now she has to live like that the rest of her days in assisted care. I would imagine assisted care. There's no way you're going to be doing it by yourself at home. That's. Can't speak, can't talk. I, I guess you. she can't even blink or anything like that. It's, it's some fucked up shit. And. <laughs> that one was disturbing to watch. And the, the the soy sauce thing kind of reminded me too about this one video I seen. Lady was promoting uh, jelly juice, she calls it, because it's under her name. And it's supposed to cure a bunch of these ailments. Really, it didn't. And some of her some of her followers, allegedly, I say allegedly, passed away. That could have been tied to drinking a bunch of fermented cabbage juice and pickle like water. Whatever you call it. Pickle juice. It's like a whole concoction with a bunch of added sodium to it too, I think. And they were just like led to believe that. They were being cured of some ailment, and really, they wasn't. They're actually just hurting themselves more. But they don't know that. Because they were just led to lay someone's delusions. We're going to just take this to add to the, the fodder here. A lot of stuff we don't really need, but... We got lucky too with all those payouts. Might as well grab the penny in case we get an art key and we could refill that machine. Um, man, what else was there? I mean, I seen the thing about the parasite stuff that used to be on Facebook. Like, I didn't personally see our Facebook, but it came from Facebook of parents giving children like, this is just kind of the top of, you know, relevancy with medical stuff. It's kind of, this one kind of cringes me because of the, uh, how horrible it is. And it's like injecting kids with, was it bleach and something else or ammonia? I don't know, it's something. Or make them drinking something, and then they're getting pieces of their intestines coming out of their butts. And they're thinking that it's working, that these parasites are coming out, which actually, they're... They're actually pieces of the inside of somebody's stomach and butt lining. Intestinal lining. I'm like, son of a gun! They talk about all these septips that they were getting. It's like, oh, that's just a cleanse, da da da. So they're trying to say that it was cleansing these parasites, it's causing these mental ailments. It's some weird stuff. Uh, how how do they like believe in that? Like, like what got them to believe in that, and then have this whole, you know, Facebook group, these Facebook groups. You know, how, they just all just kind of established in this this system. They're thinking it's gonna it's gonna do some good for the kids, but it doesn't. Burn their esophagus too, obviously. We're grabbing a lot of stuff because it's a sale today in the devil rooms. Sure. Pussy! 
Uh, yeah, it's... It's a weird thing with the medical community sometimes. It's different fascinations, different, you know, beliefs of things. Can't get over there. Okay. My mom was feeding me like a bunch of bleach or something like that. Like, <laughs> I've been questioning her in so many different ways. Oh, this will help you. I'd probably be led to believe that. Probably if I was indoctrinated enough. Be like, okay, you know what you're doing. Haha. <laughs> Even though this thing burns my throat and my intestines and I'm crapping out pain. Oh, I had a stomach biopsy a couple times growing up. Uh, because of some acid reflux things. They want to check to see if I did any damage to my stomach. And one or two of those times I had to drink this liquid that coats the inside of your body that's used to better see everything in an x-ray or whatever or some type of scan and they're trying to tell me hey it tastes like lemonade duh, duh, duh. i mean it kind of did but not really it's kind of nasty i don't know what the hell i was drinking i guess they're trying to make it sound like it's better for you to think that it's going to taste good. One time I had a procedure done. They told me to wake up. When I wake up, cough as hard as I can to get the antibiotics out of my lungs. I'm like thinking to myself, well, why would there be antibiotics in my lungs? Where I'm not having any kind of lung surgery or nothing like that. I don't think they know what they're talking about. Ain't up in my lungs. It's going to be really noticeable if it's in my lungs. It's going to irritate it, obviously. All right, the power shell just keeps coming back. Why? Okay, what's going on? All right. I'm going to look in more into what the hell that is. I don't think it's a virus. I think it's... Some other sinister sh shite. It's probably like the Microsoft thing or whatever coming up and like, oh yeah, hey. Oh no. Actually, I should pop this. Oh, I went the devil floor, I just realized. Whatever. It's gonna go to the angel floor and then pop in the angel floor, but now I think about it. If we go up to the uh, dark room and check the four chests, they might have an R key in it, one of them. And then we can pop this as the last resort. I think that's gonna probably be a lot better. That or explore around the map and see if we can get extra chests that might have it in there, but whatever. Oh no, I got hit. I mean, I seem to faint too, speaking of medical stuff, like... The pink sauce, it's been a, uh, a thing. It's like ranch and milk and other stuff in it. I'm like, it's like, of course, art artificially colored pink stuff. The whole point is like, it's pink sauce. It looks trendy. Oh my God, pink. Look at this hot pink sauce. I'm putting it in my, I don't know, cheese sticks. What do you even use ranch for anyways? Just carrots and cheese sticks or something. Hey, 
Eh. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Well, we could take some of these at least for the mixing of things up. Let's go explore. See if I could maybe find some chests. And then there's a thing I seen too about like fermented vegetables this woman was selling, but it wasn't in the right conditions to be selling them because it could give people botulism. That's why I never buy anything from a social media influencer. I mean, yeah, you can buy merch. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I mean, it's like, hey, get in my crypto scam. No. <laughs> hey, buy this crazy food I got. Hey, get in the subscription of something about me. No. Well, I mean, I guess if you got like a Patreon or something like that, that's a little bit better depending on who it is, I guess, and how much you trust them. Just a lot of dynamics moving around, right? Never in my life I will do, like, crypto, like, investing with Influencer. I've seen enough of those videos of people talking about that stuff. <laughs> Just too much for me, man. I wonder how Dogecoin is doing these days, by the way. Ah, uh, where is these sicker rooms, huh? I'm generally surprised I haven't found like an R key or a death certificate. Like, in a while. I've been to sick of rooms. I've tried all kinds of ways, right? Uh, make it happen. And it's just... Now there's like a bunch of mega fatties in here. I think we got the damage for it. Oh. Those stitches. Of course, what's also been helping here, too, is uh, the wafer. I might pop this after the boss fight. With uh, the lamb. Just in case something might go south. It might not, but with with this uh, Genesis, I want at least a little bit of uh, a buffer here in case something goes horribly wrong. Kind of looking around too here on this floor for stuff. All right, key bomb. Got for me. Great sack. Okay. I mean, that's more stuff we could just pile on here. We're gonna just blow these two up to get these out of the way. Just in case he spawns a bomb in an awkward place. More stuff. Okay. Well, each chest he gives us is a chance to get items. Man, God, my goodness gracious, you are, you are something else. And I'm saying that in the kindest of ways. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> yeah, we'll take these. Oh. Thick boy. Look at this. This is perfect with this setup. Holy cow. You are just like the best thing here. 
All right. You know what? That's gonna help. I, I feel like that's gonna help try to secure an R key or something. Maybe. We got a lot of items. We got a lot of goodies here. Right. Okay. A couple mo more rooms left here. So, medical talks and stuff like that, that does bother me a little bit. Depending on what it is, who's presenting it, how graphic it is. It's a whole bunch of, you know, circumstances with it, I'd say. Sure, I guess we grab this. Look around to see if we could find a super secret room. Now we got the power. Aha. We could play this, but. Eh. Okay, let's go fight the lamb. I mean, this should be fine. It's just gonna be a little tedious. Just a little bit. Oh, I got hit there. Oh, I got hit there again. We got a full health pill. We got wafer. We're good. There's a void portal. I don't think I'm up for that. All right, let's see. Blue key. Yep, it took my items away completely to my trinkets okay or oh, except the uh starting item that's interesting oh yeah because it uh it resets all your stats too even am i soft locked now i'm looking here that's gonna take me it's gonna be taking me back down shit sure sure it's gonna give me stats here or health? Sure. Loki's horns, eh? Come on, you know you want to give me that R key. Well, we could grab that, but I'm not going to. Sure. Ooh, Epicac or whatever. I'm going to just take the Epicac. Post hats, like, yeah. That's good eats. Sure. Echo chamber. Ah. Uh, sure. Oh, maybe a guppy item. That's key, huh? We could go to Mega Thated. Constellation. That. I mean, we got more damage than what we started out with, so that's cool. Oh, I could have got a copy item. Silly me. This does not look good. Uh, let's. Oops. I don't think these stack. And we got both the pepper items. Uh, shit. Uh, whatever. Sure. Ooh, I don't know about kidney stone. That's a little too much for me. Uh, yeah. Well, we didn't get it. Tears up. Alright, then let me out. Thank God. Oh, let's go fight Mega Satan. 
90 damage. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We got like bomb invincibility here. So yeah, there, this was, even though we didn't get the R key or gas certificate, this is still a fun run. This was a nice run. And we came to the top with one of the best pepper items. Bird's eye and the other one, ghost pepper. Oh no, we got hit, uh oh. Trying to figure out where my body's at because my head's missing. There we go. And just like that, we won. Another victory in my back pocket. Ooh. Fine. Game, you want to extend this? Sure, so be it. The only problem is, like, what's his name is kind of a pain in the butt. Delirium. Where the hell is that bastard thing go? There it is. At least try to figure out where Delirium is going to be. It's going down. So it's probably right down the bottom here. Yep, so that's Delirium. I mean, I don't think we we have to worry too badly about our chances here. Might be a small chance of finding uh, our key out of the secret rooms now that the pool's been reset. I don't know if, like... Right, I'm having a hard time here shooting. High shot speed or something? I know there's, like, random items you can get out of the bosses. That isn't, like, boss room specific. It could be just whatever. I don't think I ever got our key out of doing that, so I don't know if that's in the pool. We're gonna check, though. Goodbye. When do we see there's a devil pool there? Am I going this way? There's nothing this way. Good question. Gulp? We just got all the trinkets, huh? <laughs> oh, mommy. Mumsikins. Trying to stop me from wetting this exquisite match. All right, mysterious candy. Oh no, nope, I I lost it. Okay, never mind. Oh, I lost that one too. Whatever. Relax, we're gonna win. Hit the hip, uh, something. 
something like that. Try it. All right, that's interesting. That's a start. We'll pop it in there because... Do we want to pop it in here? Let's do it. No, no. Nope, it's just boss room items. Range, I probably do need that, maybe. There's the pay on the bot. What's with the tiny shots? Okay. Man, if we don't have, like, protection at all, like, this would have been... ...devastating. I probably wouldn't have went down to Delirium, honestly. Be like, nope, I'm flaking out. But no, we have to take him down with this build. This is, this is meant to be. In the dirty mind, my filthy friends. They do not stand a chance. <laughs> I gotta hit something there. Sure, more range. How bad could that be? One more boss room. I got hit there, lol. One more boss room. And we can close this run. Very nicely. It's just not losing any more health because I'm gonna... Definitely need it. The Delarium is no pushover either. He's... he's... Not to be trusted. It'll just teleport right on you. It just gets nothing. Well, come on. Oh, look, it's Blue Baby. Or, I mean, Isaac. Or, I mean, I don't know. And, like, but, well. That's all I could say about that, really, is, oh, well. Golly gee willikers. Let's go fight Delirium. Let's put an end to his madness. Come on. Now get out of my spot. Oh, <laughs> look at the fires go. This is the problem, though, with uh, having Bethlehem, Star of Bethlehem. It's like this kind of room. It's like freaking Deliriums popping up and most places he can't reach him from the middle of the room. Hey, lost. You can do all your telefragging you want, Delirium. I freaking won. You're gone. Destroyed, decimated, devastated, nothing. Get out of my face. And we go in. All right. Three wins in a row so far. Great. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.